Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please Adonai Elohim, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people Israel, may we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, Elohim, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence through light you may be kind to you. May Adonai bless your favor on you and grant you peace. <coughs> Today's reads are Hebrews 12, 18-29, James 2, 8 through 13 and 1 Peter 2 9 through 10. Hebrews 12 18 through 29 For you have not come to what may have may be touched a blazing fire and a darkness and glooming and a tempest and the sound of a trumpet and a voice whose words made the hearing the hearers beg that no further messages be spoken to them for they could not endure the order that was given if even a beast touches the mountain it shall be stoned Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living Elohim, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable, angel, innumerable angels and festal gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to Elohim, the judge of all. And to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Yeshua, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse him who is speaking. For if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will we escape if we reject him who warns from heaven. <laughs> At that time, his voice shook the whole earth, but now he has promised, Yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken. That is, things that have been made in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to Elohim acceptable worship, with reverence and awe, for our Elohim is a consuming fire. James 2, 8 through 13. If you are really, if you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. But if you show partially, you are committing sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become accountable for all of it. For he who said, Do not commit adultery, also said, Do not murder. If you do not commit adultery, but murder, you have became a transgressor of the law. <clears throat> so speak, and so act as those who are to be judged, under the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. 1 Peter 2, 9-10 through 10. If you are chosen, if but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for its own possession, that you may proclaim the excellence, excellencies of him who call you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but you are Elohim's people. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Brukata Adonai Elohim, Malach Kalom, Ashenata Lenu Torah, Baishi Elohim. Natabatha, can you Brukata Adonai Natina Torah?